Okay, doing a quick video review of my stand Roosevelt flagpole. Uh, the Roosevelt was shown to me on a Facebook advertisement. Uh, they it was offering introductory pricing and gave you a much better deal if you ordered the flagpole uh, with the uh, night light. Uh, Overall, it's not a bad flagpole. Uh, the bad thing was I was led to believe this was a veteran-owned company by uh, veteran workers and designed in the United States, produced, uh, they didn't say produced, they never said that, uh, but I was led to believe that this was produced in the United States as well. Uh, when they shipped this out, uh, it arrived in the exact same box that they displayed on YouTube as the, uh, when they did the unboxing video, I thought that was very funny because, uh, Unboxing videos are usually left for the public to do. Uh, so yes, when uh, the box finally arrived in my house, it was severely damaged. It was the box was actually in two pieces and taped back together by whatever uh, shipping company uh, delivered it to my house. I believe it was FedEx. Uh, can't be 100% positive. Might have been UPS. So my stand flagpole, it came with a lot of marring all up and down the sides. I've got dings and dents, dings and scratches all the way up this pole. I got a lot of marring, and you can see it more evident right here. And it goes up, and it continues up the pole for quite a ways. Uh, I did follow an RMA with for this because of uh, shipping damage, and they said they denied it. They said no, uh, we won't replace that pole because it is still functional, even though uh, it was totally their fault. They did not double box it. Uh, they just shipped it out exactly the same way they received it from their manufacturer in China. So... Uh, as far as the way this flagpole assembles, you can watch it on their YouTube video. They'll show you how to assemble it. They're not real clear on the instructions, though. Uh, what they give you is four stainless steel pins, and they go underneath the, the collar right here. This collar uh, unwinds, it lifts up, and there's a pin that will go through a pre-drilled hole in both pieces, and you need to get that pin aligned and push all the way through, and then you bring this collar down to lock that pin into place. That's how it assembles, and I've got marring. It's all up and down this this pole right here. So their anodized finish sucks. Whoop you do, you anodize something. It's not that hard to do. So yeah, they show a veteran, a, a veteran, uh, driving around with a Humvee and showing this flagpole going 100 miles an hour uh, down the road and not failing. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Uh, we had a storm last night that was pushing, you know, 50. 50 plus mile an hour winds, uh, the stand flagpole did fine. And you want you install it down at the base, uh, put plenty of bags of concrete down there. You're going to have to adjust for your soil conditions here in Kansas, where I'm at. Uh, our soil conditions suck. Once you get below the top layer of soil, you get it on those second layers, it's going to be a lot of rock, a lot of clay, and it's very hard to do. So uh, I opted for a larger hole and a few more bags of concrete versus a deep skinny hole with a few bags of concrete and so far uh, that storm last night uh, it did fairly good uh, now i sell flagpoles where i work uh, the reason i wanted this flagpole is one they claimed they were veteran owned uh, two uh, they said this was a 100 mile an hour flagpole and led me to believe that this was made in the united states and uh, that was false. When the box arrived, it said made in China, real big on it. I was kind of let down immediately <laughs> for two reasons. Uh, one, the box was fairly damaged in shipping, and two, it said made in China. So that was a big letdown. So would I buy this flagpole again? No, absolutely not. I would not. Uh, it looks good if it was not scratched up. Uh, you let me believe it was a veteran product. You know, you can be a veteran and you can do a good job of what you're doing. And with your personal business, like Black Rifle Company, they do an awesome job with their veteran-owned business and do a really outstanding job with their products. Uh, stand flagpoles, your Roosevelt flagpole is not that impressive. If you can't even package it right to begin with, if you're not going to honor a, a warranty claim on a shipment, uh, you kind of suck. So, if you want to risk uh, spending 
you know, as much money as you do for a 25 foot plaque pole as you could with this one, uh, you could be left holding the bag. So I would honestly just avoid this. So you all have a good one.